All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video here on the John Doc YouTube channel. If you can't tell, we are up here at TKM, and it looks a little bit different. They changed it around. New year, new TKM. They're getting a bunch of work done. We got our tour guide, Cornbread, over here. Are you, fastest Australian. Are you the fastest Australian? Okay. You were? Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a big title to have. All right. Well, first, first to the what? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So a little bit different look here. Uh, another CNC. Another Two CNCs. Twice as fast. Twice as much work. Twice as much work. Well, Nick, luckily. He's good enough. He's just bouncing back and forth from both of them. So what do you guys use the CNCs for? So if someone were to bring them your motor, what, why would you put it into the CNC? Uh, just way, uh, way closer tolerances, way better finish. Uh, we get stuff in here from machine shops all the time that's, you know, done on Grandpa's brooch. Uh, <laughs> well, when we bring it in here, uh, run the, the dial indicator across it, it, it'll be five to, you know, ten or more thousands out, you know, head surfaces are terrible. Uh, so you put the, the entire engine block, you'll put it in there, yep. you'll put cylinder heads in there. Yep. And you can see here, uh, Nick, Nick's actually got one in here now that he's working on uh, doing this, is a, a coyote, he's doing sleeves in right now. Uh, so he'll get this machine running, doing what it needs to do. He'll come over here, he may, uh, he may stick a block in here, or this machine, he'll do heads or blocks and he'll do heads in this one just whatever we you know injector bones in intakes really having one machine once it was tied up running it was just slower for us to get stuff done now we can do intake bones we can do fuel rails we can do uh o rings all the time. you guys make your own uh spacer for the dam with the burst panels in it spacers uh so you know uh, you it, can, it's just nice having two machines. Yeah, having the freedom to do do whatever you really need. And if you go back, if you guys go back in the videos, when you guys first got my little 5.3 deal, the world record thing, first thing you guys did was you stuck it in the CNC, you checked it, you, you drilled out the, the sleeves. The sleeves, head studs, you know. Uh, basically, we can do anything with these machines. That's awesome. And, and it is, uh, the, the work term is awesome. So having another one, a huge advantage. This is why you guys need to take stuff here. I can't speak highly enough of, of how fast and how perfect everything is when you guys get everything done here. So this used to be Sammy's. Sammy and Mark were here, right? Yeah, we kicked them out. Got, well, you, have them build, you have them building engines out back in the rain? They're building out by the barn. <laughs> uh, we'll show you their new room. Uh, right now, this is all blocks that we have in some, uh, they all in different stages of stuff being done. So mainly, you can see why we need a two CNC machine. Seriously, you guys are not playing around here. Uh, hey, uh, also, we got uh, your heads. I should have uh, These are my, my 5.3 cylinder heads, right? Yeah, these are, uh, <laughs> these are your new 5.3 deals. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Stock casting. Now, uh, now, what are these? These are not for an LS. Uh, this is actually for Jared's motor in the, the new C7 Corvette. This is a uh, Newman's 49 bore space. Uh, this is the baddest head they make. Uh, this is for the spare motor. Uh, he's fixing to start building. I mean, you see how huge that valve is. That is I mean, absolutely look, look insane. Runner. I mean, you just put your kids in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, I mean, this is something Dustin's working on. Sit right now, working on setting up the springs and stuff. Jared's putting a spare motor together. And that's for his Corvette. We've had that on the channel. Yep. It was up at uh, PRI show. You guys ran it at Ducks Race. Yep. It's a twin turbo Hemi Corvette. Yep. Uh, new block heads. You know, we did the machine work to it, the same one that, uh, it's turning out. Uh, I mean, we didn't have much time in Georgia, but we're fixing to go to Bradenton for a race. Uh, you know, just get more seat time. Perfect. So, and that, I, I do have to say that that car is also like, the, what do they call the accidental show car? It's a show car. Yeah. Josie, no, 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 Josie at Dieter's got his hands no, on he it. Got it. He nailed it. And uh, he's got it shining. Hey, you know, uh, Perry, 
in the paint, body work. <clears throat> nobody wants to touch it. When it's time to put the nose on, nobody wants to touch it. <laughs> I mean, it's just too nice. So, but it's the really best. But yeah, we got your hand. So I, I did a change on the cylinder head. We were trying to run the Texas Speed stuff, which um, we were running a set of PRCs on Chris's engine for his Corvette. They are the 247 hip heads. And uh, we were trying to do the solid roller deal for the Salty Chicken, the world record 5.3. And we were having some issues with, I guess, just having getting the right geometry, everything to line up and work good. And uh, you happen to have a set of heads. You, you did hook me up. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do some to you about these. This is the you know, LS7 deal, but it had the spring pocket that you needed, push rod, hole size, and then Dustin did all his tricks and stuff. So, Dustin, you're the cylinder head guru here. Yeah. What is what is what did you do? What is going to send me to the moon that you did? Right, so we started with a set of Dark Pro One. They're uh, based off an LS7 casting, geometry, size, and all that. So 2.2 .2, uh, titanium valves for starters, and now exhaust. Obviously, we did all the trick TKM stuff. The top fuel hoop. You can't forget. That's everyone's favorite. Top fuel hoop. <laughs> top fuel hoop. Uh, we got the hoop. We got the chamber soften on it. That's going to help with, with sealing and tuning. So what is, for everyone at home, what is chamber softening? Chamber softening, uh, it helps with the quench. It helps with the burn. Uh, it allows you a little bit more leeway in, in, the, cham in the tune. So it's not, uh, it's going to be harder for me to burn up heads. Well, it's going to help you. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to help you. Um, it can help in getting the CCs right sometimes, but really it just helps, helps things burn a little bit more efficiently. Um, all it does is we come in here and we've got certain angles that we'll use for different situations and we come in here instead of that being flat right there inside the chamber we knock that guy off at an angle slopes it down in towards the guys awesome so went in here did our badass valve job uh, put the correct angles in there opened up the throats to what they ought to be opened the throats up about to the max and uh, went in here and blended smooth everything out so feel how, feel how light all, that valve is. All gonna plug. Good God, you surprised you guys don't put a weight on there to hold it down. That is, <laughs> yeah. that right there is insane. So what is the benefit of a lighter valve? I guess it's just less. It's better valve control, better spring control. Um, it's it's that being said, obviously it's it's less weight on the valve train, so less weight, less stress. Um, it, it's got a whole host of different things. That valve's like. 68 grams. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, it's, it's real light now. So these heads are, I mean, they're done up right. These are like the the best that, I mean, I've never seen, I'm used to looking at a set of junkyard heads. We were talking about this earlier. So this is like, this is like going to a, a nice restaurant for me. I'm not used to this. I don't know how to act around it. These heads, they, they've got the characteristics that are going to be good for your build. Um, as far as the CCs and, and the way the ports are laid out and all that. And for all the, all the boost. Yeah. All the boost? All the boost. So all the boost head. Yeah. So we, you were talking that this, so this head originally was run on like some sort of NASCAR yeah. level. Yeah, that's NASCAR country stuff right there. Uh, they were using that, that stuff on our cars and stuff like that, and naturally aspirated engines, and that gave the head some characteristics that are going to work real good for, for what you do in a boosted application. So they're going to work real good. So they're perfect. When they created these, they're like, these will probably be great on a 5.3. They thought about you when they cast that head. <laughs> Well, Dustin, I appreciate you doing them up right, and that's the thing here. When you go to TKM, you know that everything is going to be done up right, and uh, these heads are spectacular. And I think, I didn't realize how important cylinder heads were to the performance. I mean, if you have some shitty cylinder heads, you're not going to make the power that you want to, and these are the ones. Well, so. and your, your other Bird head uh, started out, you know, had a real small push rod uh, hole, uh, the, the valve screen. Uh, pressure that we want to run, you just need a bigger push rod. So valve spring wise on these, they're pretty like gnarly for an LS deal. What is an L, what's an LS normally have for seat pressure? An LS could have anywhere between 100, 100 to 180 pounds typically. Uh, of course, you're talking about a hydraulic wheel. Mm -hmm. So you're running a lot less spring pressures. And a lot of those guys that, that are running more spring pressures on the hydraulic LS. Than the We're running a solid deal. So we've gotten away from the hydraulic and lighter spring pressure and being solid, we need more spring. So, you know, you're going to have uh, three to four times that amount of spring God. pressure just on the seat. <laughs> and, and we won't get into the, the numbers over the nose um, and spring rates, but it's, it's a substantially 
to hold all the boost. So the na is the name of the game just holding the boost in there and, and making sure everything's not flapping around? Controlling. Controlling. You gotta control the boost. God, I can't wait to get these these on there. And we look at the, the damn... Mm. I asked Dustin earlier, so embarrassed. I said, what is that hole for? I, you know, it's early, okay? Obviously, it's a spark plug hole. I was just testing you, and you passed the it's, test. It's, so you can continue to work on my heads. It's okay. It's, it's, it's that, your first game. <laughs> But I appreciate it, and I guess the next step for these would be just assemble them, put the springs on, and then they go on the motor? Yeah, that's it. I've already got them shinned out, got the install height set, and uh, they're ready to go. So if you guys are looking to uh, see some cylinder head porn, I'm going to direct you over to Dustin's Instagram. Well, shameless plug your Instagram. I'll put it up on the screen here so you guys can follow him. He was putting them up on, he has pictures of Instagram when he's working on these. And I think it's pretty cool to see the, the process from where it starts to where it ends. So go and check you out on Instagram because you are the, like I said, you're the cylinder head guru here. So, thanks for taking care of me. What, what do you think about the new CNC, Nick? This is the greatest machine in the building. You like this? Yes, I love it. God, it's so it's so new looking. I mean, not that one doesn't look new looking, but this one's like brand new. You can tell it's new in the parts too. Yeah. When you get the surface finish on everything, the spindle's hot. So I guess it's got a little different program uh, software than what the other machine has, and Nick seems to love it. I mean, we, we have to make him. We, we, we have to make Nick go home at night because he just wants to stay here <laughs> the machine. Like, I, I will say. He's got Nintendo and Sega. Nick's got CNC. <laughs> that, I've got Hobbs. He's got Hobbs. That is crazy. So he's he's literally doing both. He's working yeah, both yeah, of these. Yeah. Like I say, he'll, he'll have this one rolling doing stuff, and then he'll come over here. He'll set up. Right now, this is a new block fixture. Yep. Uh, so we can run blocks in both of them. Uh, he's setting that, and going to put up put a new uh, another block in here and start on it. So, but like you did say, uh, Sammy and him. They ran out of room, we just kicked them out. We built them a nice room here. <laughs> so TCAM is expanding. Here's This is Dustin's other area. He's got two areas. Oh, the paint job. What about the paint Oh, yeah, job? I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah, fresh paint. You guys, are, you guys are looking good. 2020, you're not playing any games. Here's Cornbread Station right here, the hone. I mean, yeah, this is... Actually, what I'm doing right now, I'm honing the Can-Am jokes for uh, Mr. R.P.M. out there. He got the cylinders for the Can-Ams, so... Uh, they do these, and then I bolt four of them down, kind of like a block, and and hone them. So you guys do it all, don't you? You guys really do it all. Yeah, we do it all. Crazy. And so, then this is the new engine assembly. So Mark got him a whole new station. They couldn't get you away from Sammy, though. You still are stuck working next to Sammy. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Basically, we were just uh, running out of room back there in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, now, all the machining goes on in there, and then assembly goes down in here. So, uh, and we got this, this is all blocks and cranks to be assembled. assembled. All the machine work's done. Okay, look at that. Every time I come in here, y'all have like another billet. What's that? Yeah. Billet LS? Noonan billet LS. Yep. God, you, how many of those you guys got floating around? You don't have an extra one that I could take home? Yeah, we might work on that. <laughs> uh, uh, and then, you know, Jerry's working on setting up the ring filer. Is this, do you guys get like a, uh, a tax write off having Jared come here and work a little bit yeah, with y'all? Yeah. yeah, it works that good. This is this Noonan, Noonan 49 block. This is for the, the spare. Remember, we've seen the heads in there. I'd say that's a good looking spare. Yeah, I mean, I, I wish my spare stuff looked like that. So, uh, that is wild. But yeah, I mean, they just ran out of room. So we, we had to expand. This was an old machine shop. They came in here, pressure wash, painted the walls, uh, poxied the floor, uh, you know, uh, made them a nice area to work. Yeah, y'all are looking good. Y'all are growing. Y'all are doing your thing. T cam to the front. And we actually, we took you guys the bad apple motor. When we got it back, we started going faster. You guys are just in the business of making people go faster. So we appreciate that. And speaking of going faster, you're going to be going faster soon. Jason's doing the turbo kit on your car this week. Yeah, you didn't see I've been working on the paint job on your car. I've been doing my own little touches. <laughs> oh, it's a surprise. <laughs> So here it is. TKM is uh, is expanding and doing it. So um, I guess next up for my stuff is uh, just have you guys already have the short block assembled. Yeah, the short block assembled. Uh, heads are ready to go together. Uh, we just need rocker uh, rocker arms. So so I, I got up with the guys at T and D. So we're gonna get some rocker arms 
here and then I guess really push rod length and yep uh, what Sammy will do with your new rockers he'll uh, check this in the valve clearance and, and measure for push rods and he can bolt the heads down uh, and we'll weigh on rocker arms awesome so I mean really it won't take long I guess just whatever to get some rockers so I guess we need to yell at Jason Brazel to finish my car your car or my car well your car first that I'm next in line after that after me. After you, yeah, I'm up next. So you're you're up, and then me, and then uh, hopefully we can go fast. Sammy told me if it didn't run fast enough, I have to sell the whole operation. So right. we better we better get to well, it. Well, if it don't go fast enough, first we'll let Sammy drive it a time or two and see <laughs> if that's the problem. I told Sammy, I said, listen, we have so many cars, I'm going to need some backup drivers. And he looks like he's perfect to drive that little Colorado I'm building. Oh, yeah, Solid <laughs> right there. That boy mash again. <laughs> Oh, my God.